Every so often we find ourselves in the wilderness, seeking inspiration on the world around us. And oftentimes we find this inspiration in unlikely places that will brighten up our day and embed memories that will last a lifetime. We've been chasing waterfalls literally for quite some time now, but with campsites, it doesn't come that easy. Dinner. <laughs> I think we're the only ones camping today. There were only two cars at the parking lot. Wash the bread. It's dirty. Well, dirty could have fun with it. It's like Oreo. <laughs> It has almost been 30 years since I was introduced to backpacking and the memory of that first hike to the waterfall is still fresh in my mind. And I figured if I were to relieve that moment, Tennessee is the place to be. But our story does not begin here. It began hours earlier on Virgin Falls Trailhead. From the parking lot, we hiked all the way here to our first campsite, just after the cable crossing. Tomorrow, we will hike further and camp at Virgin Falls area. On the third day, we will continue to loop and hike back until we reach the Martha's Pretty Point Junction and we'll follow the trail all the way back to the car. Starting from the trailhead, the trail begins a gentle descent. There were reports of rain the days prior, but the trail was dry except for some creek crossing. We followed Big Branch until it crosses the creek on rocks. There were plenty of water sources along the trail, so water is not a concern on this hike. Soon after, we came upon one of the several falls along this hike, Big Branch Falls. A small waterfall of cascading water that offers a glimpse of beautiful landscape that have yet to come. Water flows freely down these rocks in steps like formation. There is just something about the sight and sound of water cascading that is both hypnotizing and soothing. Big Branch Falls is just right beside the trail, so it's easy to get back on the main trail. We eventually reached the cable crossing of Big Laurel Creek, just a few yards where we are presently camped. A cable has been rigged to aid in crossing when water is high, but this time around, we were able to cross the creek without even getting our shoes wet.
I have to admit winter has been pretty warm this year, yet we brought along our 4 season tent which is a pound heavier than our 3 season one. I just figured we need the extra warmth and comfort just in case it snows on us again. A lesson learned from Art Lobe Trek. It occurred to us that the area is not heavily camped as compared to the popular segments of the Appalachian Trail, judging on the fact that firewood can still be collected around the area. Now the trick in throwing a bear line is a proper wind up just before the throw. Now the trick in throwing a bear line is a proper wind up just before the throw and follow through with your body weight forward. Now the trick in throwing a bear line is to proper wind up just before the throw and follow through with your body weight forward and clear the line from any entanglement from the surrounding shrubs. And the rest I guess is just persistence. Perfect! Dinner for tonight is Philippine pancit, all-time Philippine favorite dish. We begin with saute of garlic and onions, followed by meat, and later with carrots. Water is then added and brought to a boil. Add soy sauce, more soy sauce, Cut. salt and pepper, pepper and salt to taste. Add in vegetable leaves, and lastly, pancit canton noodles. Stir and add in a couple of funny faces. <laughs> Let it simmer for a few minutes. And voila! Dinner is served. What is that? Pancit! 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 Pancit Canton. Pancit Canton. That's Philippine noodles. Philippine noodles. We then enjoyed our meal beside the campfire. Now finishing clean a meal is a good measure of a tasty dish, but this time around, we dare each other who gets to convey it better, like in commercials.
Naong ka na. Tandaan na yung naong. Huwag klaro ato naong ay. I call that challenge a draw since nobody is there to break it even. We rebuilt the fire and stayed warm beside the campfire as we started our second day with a hot cup of coffee. This morning, we only met one backpacker and his awesome dog companion. They were also headed to Virgin Falls to camp for the night and his dog was eager to lead the way. In time, we decided to start the hike and made sure to doze the fire before leaving the campsite. Along the way, we passed by a small bluff. We got plenty of time to take a break as the hike to Virgin Falls is just around 4.3 miles from the trailhead. We continued to follow Big Laurel Creek. Some areas of the trail were steep on the side and needed to be extra careful. From a distance we could hear gushing sound of water, knowing then we came upon our second waterfall, Big Laurel Falls. Big Laurel Falls is a 40 foot waterfall which forms a veil covering a cave just behind it. The water drops thinly on a wide area scattering millions of shimmering tiny little droplets. Part of a bigger body of water, these droplets scatters and from time to time shimmers against the sun even just for a moment, giving you this magical experience. Purely one of nature's wonders. Dazzled by the sensory overload, we sat and stared in awe of the beauty in front of us. We 
stayed for a while and enjoyed breakfast and then explored the hollow chamber beneath. Unlike most waterfalls that flows outward to streams after it drops, the water flows back inside the chamber and disappears to a hole on the ground. We continued the main trail until we hit the junction of Virgin Falls Loop. Going right leads to Sheep Cave Falls. Sheep Cave Falls comprises of two sections. The lower falls that spills into a sinkhole and disappears back into a cave and the upper falls which gets its water from the cave above it. Half mile later from Sheep Cave and already weary from the day's hike, we were in for a surprise by the sight that awaited us at Virgin Falls. Enormous clouds of spray, white as snow, blanketed the lower half as relentless water pounds rocks along the drop. Continuous stream of water evenly plunges across the width of the stream, covering the rock face. Truly majestic yet intimidating. This is Virgin Falls, formed by an underground stream that emerges from a cave, then drops 110 feet before disappearing into another cave at the bottom of the sink. Strong mist blows outwardly at the base, most likely from the cave just behind the falls. Truly a spectacular sight. We then eagerly set our tent fully contented of our campsite and its proximity to the waterfall. And once again from a distance spotted our backpacking friend by the waterfall with his furry companion. A heartwarming sight to see the bond between best of friends. Well, 
filtering our water for tonight so we don't have to come back here at the top of the falls so the water source is there there's a cave beyond this rock and <clears throat> Water all goes all the way to the mm. fall. Later in the afternoon, another group of campers arrived and set up camp just adjacent to us. That makes us three groups camping for the night. We are fortunate to get a clear view of the waterfall from our campsite. This is what I envision of what camping should be. Campfire, waterfall, and good company. A little while later, we got a visit from our furry friend Leo. He managed to wander around while his owner was occupied helping out other campers with their fire log. Eventually, we hit the sack and call it a night. We woke up that day in the middle of the wilderness with the best view nature has to offer. As I mentioned early on, every so often we find ourselves in the wilderness, searching for inspiration and in unlikely of places, this appears to us even just for a moment. Like the shimmering of tiny little droplets, the spray of mist at the base of a waterfall, and even the sight of bond of friendship between two good friends. All of these are million little things sum up and make for a good experience. Joe, yeah, and where's 
your buddy? Uh, Leo's way over there. Okay. He's, he's wandering around. He's already on the trail. Okay, so this is Leo. Hey, Leo, come on. He loves people. Oh, he can't wait to go. He loves hikes. We eventually bid farewell to our new friends, and in time, we leave camp and look at the fall one last time. So it's a beautiful day to hike back to the car. The sun is finally up. We stopped by a swimming hole and took a quick dip in the freezing water. What's the point of having all that water if you can't even enjoy it? In time, we then reached Marta's pretty point to enjoy the view of the gorge. It was a pretty sight after all that hike in the woods. by some as the best fruit on the planet and I am one of those. They usually mix it with coke in our hometown. So mm. nice. But the odor it but the smell is not for everyone though. It's either you love it or you hate it. Not right? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> nice, you're screaming. Maybe I'll give it a try. This time. Let me try. Only four. First time. No, second time. <laughs> you still don't like the smell? No, I love the smell. Yeah, it's normally don't, not allowed in the hotels and airlines. Oh, the taste is good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I told you. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you miss it. It's years. Yeah. This the first time I tried this. I hate it. Yeah. I don't like it. But it's yummy. All those years you missed. Yeah, it's yummy. I told you to try it. <laughs> That's first. Love it. Who <laughs> are <laughs> so if you like this video, check our other videos as well. Thank you guys for watching.
Oh, <laughs> 